And now we shall spend a day in the life of the ruffled Sterling Forest early bird. Deep in the anachronistic wilds of Sterling Forest dwells a fabulous creature of legend, an enigma of the animal kingdom, both solitary hunter and yet quite fun at parties. It patrols its territory with an imperious snobbish eye, the ruffled Sterling early bird. They are not easily impressed, like ever. The term early bird is something of a misnomer as they actually hate getting up before brunch, but they set ambitious schedules for themselves that consist primarily of determined preening, dental hygiene that borders dangerously close to recycling, more preening, particularly the ample ruff for which they are partly named, and devoted care to their luxurious crest feathers. Hussy. Possessed of an abiding curiosity about all things pertaining primarily to themselves, the Sterling early bird has been known to stare at its own reflection to the point of starvation. Luckily for this specimen, the threat of rain and its inevitable unfashionably soggy feather look has roused it to seek shelter and live another day. These colors don't run, but the early birds certainly do. Shamelessly, it would seem. The Sterling early bird is often perceived as a serene, stately creature as it hunts for its prey, but that's just nonsense. It has a rather quote-unquote sophisticated sense of play, apparently learned by mimicking the activities of other creatures in its habitat, such as armored jousters, push monkeys, barbaric Olympians, greenskeepers, Nathan Lane impersonators, and stage managers. But don't let these frivolous pastimes fool you. The Sterling early bird is a predator, possessed of a special set of traits not unlike Liam Neeson in Taken, but more foppish. The first being its oh good heavens! The first being a sensory nerve cluster that doubles as a mating display and drink rest supposedly. And secondly, a finely tuned sense of high frequency hearing, facilitated by the sweeping brim of their ornate head crest. Here, it seems the early bird has caught the hint of its intended prey, and now the hunt is on in earnest, not just in an Oscar Wilde kind of way. Take note of its signature stalking party shot, evolved from millennia of community theatre. Primarily an ambush predator, the early bird has been known to subsist on canapes and the occasional croaking bush, but today it is after a far more satisfying game. Because of all the odd and curious objects of its fancy, there is nothing the ruffled sterling early bird prefers more than a really good deal. Here we see evolution at its most cost conscious, as the early bird uses its specially adapted talons to order tickets, ironically to a place it already lives. Hmm. Of course, you don't live here, so this may be of some service to you, the viewer. Word to the wise. Hustle up, buttercup. But of course, the thrill of the hunt is brief. Darn it, early bird! Put that down! As the sterling early bird only has one known nemesis. The easily enraged female cell phone owner. Fly away, early bird. Fly away. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I duck will be there indeed. <laughs> Gosh, darn it.